Hey, what's up everybody? Brando Free to Play, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about some of my most recent uh, test trapping that I've tried to do. I think it was Friday night, Saturday morning, it was Saturday like around midnight, one in the morning. Uh, tested out my trap, just to see, give it an update, to see if what I'm doing works. So. Let me get into the game and let's see what that uh, actually looked like if this loads up. Okay. Cool deal. All right. Let me go. Okay, click out of that. Okay, so first things first. I'm going to go ahead and explain to you guys who was my guard captain. My guard captain was Achilles. Or Achilles, however you guys want to name him. As you guys can see, he is not in full immortal. Uh, Guardian set. I have terrible luck on getting that last piece immortal. Let's take a look at his stats really quick. He has a negative um, 190% uh, enemy troop attack debuff. And it has a minus 56% defense debuff and minus 49% HP debuff also has a minus 30% troop march speed debuff. So essentially this is a debuffing hero. Uh, it, he, this gear does increase my uh, HP and defense, but it has no increase in uh, attack. The only attack that you see is because he is an infantry hero and if I'm not mistaken, I think he might also have infantry attack runes. There it is. So that's how he has extra infantry attack. Now, uh, yeah, that is the guard captain that I used. I did not use my immortal uh, berserker set. Um, in my opinion, I probably would have done better if I had this set on, but I just wanted to see how my trap is going if I were to go with full guardian gear. Alright, so without further ado, let's get into the actual battle reports. Uh, now first things first, I want to always show off this attack from a player named Mako. He apparently is very pissed off in line groups because I killed off some of his T6. And he spent money on T6 because at the point at that point in time he wasn't able to train them, and essentially he lost money attacking me, which is freaking hilarious, and a bunch of T5 and a lot of T6. So GG wanted to you know keep that keep that fresh in everybody's mind. Now the most two recent attacks that I took uh, were from somebody from W at R. His name is Mr. Black. Pretty good, chill, kickback dude. I, I messaged him after the fact, you know, kind of like hey. You lost this much, you know, GG, whatever. We had a little, you know, talk back and forth a little bit. You know, unreasonable. He's not an asshole like Mako. You know, he's not he's not overly mad, but he's like like most of us, kind of confused with the battle mechanics. Uh, so let's actually get down into this report now. Keep in mind, I will be showing you, everybody who watches my video, I'll be showing you my troop and my troop composition. And it's really not going to be a big secret, okay? Because it's still growing. Currently, at this present time, I have over 20,000 troops. Yes, it's a lot. So as we can see here in the first hit, um, I lost the attack. Primarily because Netmarble has not yet removed the 20% guaranteed survival. Yes, forum trolls, I brought it up again. Now, let's actually... Scroll down so you guys you guys can see I did pop some extra buffs that you get every now and then from either your cargo ships or Netmarble gives it to you because of a maintenance, whatever it is. I did use attack, defense, HP, buffs, and debuffs. Okay, so that is going to be displayed on my side, my side of the stats. Now on his side of the stats, you guys can see he has a total of 105% troop attack, which applies to all of his troops. You can tell right out the bat that this player is Castle 26 and above. How do I know this? Because he has a tier 1 cavalry basic HP, 
uh, range, all those, all those um, basic HP and stuff like that. You know, tier one, two, two, three, two, four, two, five, six are only given to players who have, or not given, but are available to be researched after um, Academy 26. Which, of course, you need Academy. I mean, Castle 26. So. He is uh, quite a bit uh, more further advanced than I am in the game. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look. Just scroll down here. Keep on scrolling down. You know, pretty basic stuff. And then at this point, I kind of just stopped. All right, my stats are done, right? That's not going further anymore. His goes down for about another half a page. Uh, but you guys can see here, my enemy troop attack debuff is minus 213%, which is not bad. Now let's just keep on looking, keep on looking, keep on looking, and here we go. We actually get to see that he is sending infantry geared hero of, of plus 971%. Now this is by far the strongest hit that my account has taken so far. Alright, since I'm actively trying to test it out, this is the hardest hit, hardest hitting player to hit me. So thank you for testing it out. Um, and let's actually take a look at what was lost. Now, yeah, that does not look pretty because if anybody here knows, T5 takes a buttload to revive and also a buttload to rebuild, right? For me, it takes almost, a, it takes about a month to rebuild or to build, period, 30,000 troops. 40,000 around there. 30 to 40,000 takes about a month to 40 days to make that amount of troops. I don't know about this person, but for me, that's a heck of a lot of time. It requires a heck of a lot of speed ups. So, you know, it, that, that seeing that kind of hurts. The T4, okay, I can live with no problem. Uh, let's see what I lost. Okay, so I had some injured T1. Okay. I had some more injured T1. Okay. I had injured and dead T1. Okay. And more dead T1. And that's it. So, uh, moral of the story, uh, my trap account is, is working. I am only losing T1, which I can live with compared to other people's T5. Now, after that attack, I shielded up, healed up, and, uh, you know, looked at the report, saw what he sent. I was like, all right, let me see. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I did pretty I did pretty good. I was happy with myself. Now, about a couple minutes pass, and I'm like, you know what? He's still in our hive attacking other players. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to put a plus 15 um, archer aura because I know he's sending infantry. So I was like, you know what? Let me scout him, break my shield, and let's test it out again. Okay, so this is hit number two. You know, as you guys can tell the reports, there are a few minutes apart. Okay. So this time around, I lost a lot more tier uh, one troops. I had a lot more dead. Reason being, he sent a heck of a lot more troops. If you guys, you can do the math. He uh, he sent uh, 91,840 plus 391,360. You can add that up and you'll figure out how much he actually sent. But he sent uh, quite a few troops at me in a, as a solo march. Okay. Now again, I'm still using Guardian Gear, not a full Immortal set. So keep that in mind. I did use that plus 15 um, aura. Uh, let's see if I can find it here. Um, yep, here it is. Basic Archer Attack Increase plus 15. So it's there. Um, and uh, let's actually take a look at uh, what he lost in this attack. And uh, pretty much mirrored like the uh, previous attack, just more troops. He sent more T5 and more T4. And the end result was pretty much the same. Only 20% of his march survived because Netmarble, for whatever reason, thinks that is balanced. And I'm using the quotations around balanced, 
right? But, you know, that's, you know, that's for another topic, another video. But in this attack, he lost 167,000 T5 and 223,000 T4. Now, I don't know about you guys, but that hurts, right? And let's look at what I lost. All right. So it looks like my T4 and T3 and T2 did a lot of damage, right? My T1 took some damage, but I still had some T1 infantry survive. Okay, let's take a look. I had T1 ranged uh, injured, but survived. And he was able to kill 101.7 million of my 3 million T1 cavalry. Which, if you think about it, is not that bad compared to the T5 losses he took. I mean, if you took, if you look at it, you know, resource and time-wise, how much of a difference that really is, you, you guys can actually see who the real winner in this attack was, right? And again, my T1 wall was not defeated. I still have plenty of T1 that he needs to get through before my T2 start getting injured, right? So, yeah. I just wanted to give you guys some updates, some videos. I have yet to have somebody as dumb as Mako come and hit me with T6. And, uh, you know, at that point in time, I only I used my infantry set and he used cavalry for whatever reason. But still, nobody has yet hit me again with tier 6. And I really would like to see if I can get more dead T6 later on in the future. So again, Mako, if you're watching, let me know if you want to hit me. I'll let you hit me. No, I won't let you rally me because that doesn't really prove that you're that much better. Alright? So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and until next time.